my pineapple cutting machine is the subject of today's food for thought video hi my name is Jody Bunting and this is a daily live health tip video to help you feel healthy and cook better so today what we're going to be doing is first of all the camera's falling down a little bit so I just need to readjust you you don't want to be looking at the floor you want to be looking at my pineapple don't you um so this is a pineapple cutter now can you guess what it's going to do it's basically going to dig into it and then it's going to segment that pineapple first of all a quick word of word of warning about a pineapple they are very high in sugar guys so although they're seasonal they aren't british so therefore genetically our bodies aren't used to having this much sugar in food so bear in mind this should be classed as a treat food part of your 20 percent as you know uh, i have this great new kebab maker and tomorrow when we're in the motorhome i'm going to be making some kebabs chicken sweet corn or baby corn and pineapple so this is what i'm doing now i'm preparing it ready for tomorrow uh, now i haven't actually used this before my mum has used it but i know you guys like to see me use new devices live on facebook so we're going to do that tonight so what we have to do first of all is cook cut the head off so let's just cut this pineapple head off for those of you, obviously I'm a trained chef, so I know to actually cut a pineapple, it's really hard work because you have to get all that off and obviously it's, it's a bit of a faff to be honest with you. So let's see if this is going to work. First of all, let's just size it up. So this is the size of the hole, this is the size of the pineapple, so you can see that it should go through there without getting much faff. I hope so anyway. Hi Lorraine, hi Annette, welcome to our live video. So look, I'm going to stamp that in. And that is obviously going to take the core as well. So the core is going to go in there. So we should have just the nice bits left. So there we go. So I've rooted my pineapple stabber into there. And now it should just cut through a lovely slice of my finest... Aldi, oh yes, can you see that guys? That is actually working a treat. I don't know how that blade is so sharp, but it's literally just now rooting down into the pineapple. And obviously what you wanna do is not touch the sides because you don't wanna get any of that pulp from the side. And if you wanted to make a cocktail after this guys, it's gonna make a great pop cocktail glass, this pineapple thing. And obviously you just keep turning. But I don't want to come out the bottom, do I? Because I do want to use this as a cup afterwards. So how do you know how far you are? I can kind of feel it a little bit there. Oh yeah, I'm definitely near the bottom now. How low can he go? Uh, where did you get it from? I'll have to write that down because my mum got it from somewhere. She's, she loves the rain, she loves B&M, she loves home bargains, so she probably got it from somewhere like that. It was probably about 50 quid. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling it. I think that's actually at the bottom now, because I'm feeling juice coming out. Or is that juice coming from the top? No, right. I'm definitely there now. So how do I stop? I'm just going to pull it, I think. There we go. And then what you have is perfect oh look at that guys that is just the dream look so i've got rid of the core i've got rid of all the pulp and you can see i have some perfect pineapple i have a little bit of excess there which obviously i need to take off before eating but that would make a great centerpiece it'd make a great glass uh, I think I have gone a little bit low because it is dripping with pineapple. And again, you could have a little bit of pineapple juice. So what I'm going to do now, let's just get the excess off in there. Hi, Aaron. I knew you'd love it, Lorraine. It is cool. Then you just take the little thing off. Why is it that shape? It's like a banana shape, isn't it? So you take that off and then you have your lovely bits of pineapple which I'm then going to segment up 
ready to go on my kebabs tomorrow. Pineapple, uh, calorie wise, Aaron, for pineapples, I'm not sure, I will look it up. Uh, for those of you who do want to know calories of all different foods, uh, download the free app, which is My Fitness Pal, and that will tell you. Um, and I will, I think I'll just cut this up now, guys, because we should have a little taste test, shouldn't we? So I'm just gonna cut it into quarters. And I have now got some perfect pineapple pieces. This pineapple was 75p, by the way, from Aldi. And that's it. That was my pineapple maker. And I will make, I'll do a little post below where it was from and how much was it. But search eBay, pineapple Cora. What can we call it? Pineapple machine, maybe. Right, thank you for joining me, guys. I'll be back tomorrow at the campsite when I'll be cooking this pineapple with some baby corn and some chicken making kebabs. So I'll see you tomorrow lunchtime. Bye for now.